what's up guys welcome back to the titlake.com and as I promised today we would be downloading our CK editor in order to make our newsletter form look pretty so what I want you to do guys is go to this particular website that's ckeditor.com and go to their downloads section out there you will find a lot of CK editors for different platforms so the one we need is the one on the very top which says CK Editor 3.6.1 and you can download this particular zip file once you are done downloading this zip file come to your root folder and extract all the files inside your root folder that's what I'm gonna do right now okay that's done then I'm gonna delete this particular zip file because you know, we don't need it anymore next thing I want you to do guys is go to this site that says docs.ck source and you can you know see the entire source uh, I would say the URL from here and there they have the documentation how to install it and how to integrate it with your website and it's pretty easy guys so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to do it so go to the form that we created inside the newsletter.php page on the very top first we will have to give a reference to their javascript file so i'm going to say text uh, i'm sorry script type text slash javascript and the source would be the ck editor that uh, that is our folder and inside it would be the ck editor.js okay let me show you guys what I did. This is our CK editor folder. If you have named it to something else, then you will have to change the name out here. And then inside it, there is a file called ckeditor.js. And I recommend you guys do not change the name on this particular file. Let it be whatever it is. Next thing we have to do is we will have to write some JavaScript on the bottom of our text editor. So again, I'm going to open the script tags and we only have to write one line of code so what I'm gonna say is ck editor dot replace okay that's their function that we are calling and we will have to pass a parameter which actual uh, text area we want to replace so I'm gonna say the uh, text area with the name of content we want to replace that's all if you guys will go back refresh it you will see a bit ugly but our ck text editor now we will have to style it a bit but before doing that guys do one thing go to the ck editor folder open the file which is config.js okay if you will open this file you will find something like this i'm gonna take everything off and out here i have some of the mm, what i will say I have some of my own custom configuration for our text editor so I'm gonna copy and paste it out here guys you will might you might not found this on their particular website I used it from somewhere else I'm not even sure from where I got it but you guys can see it from here I'm gonna you know just leave the video like this for a second you can take everything from here or maybe I will leave it somewhere on my website so that you guys don't have to type it out you can just copy and paste from there okay once you will do this you will find a difference to your text editor see now the options are really this because we don't want uh, you know like attaching videos and all that stuff so I just you know cut all of the uh, many options to really list what we exactly need next thing we want to do is uh, delete it next thing is go to their skins and go to their default skin that is KAMA and take their file which is editor.css so that we can actually style it next thing I'm gonna open my firebug if you guys don't have I recommend you please download this firebug it's really really handy and next thing we want is to change the width on it so Okay, let's try the width 
which I used last time that was 700 pixels okay I'll increase it to I would say 730 720 okay that's fine next next thing we need is to put some styling on this bottle we have out here so yeah, we have to do it. I'm not even sure, guys. I'm gonna try to put this quick to you know three, four different places and see which one works. Now, not this one. Okay. Um, try out here. Quick to 720 pixels. No, not at all. And I think I believe I got it. Yep, this would be the one. 720 pixels. Yep, that is. We're gonna increase it to 731 pixels. So just copy the name from here and search it inside their style sheet. We got it. On the very front, I'm gonna say width to 720 pixels. That's all. Come back. Now we have our width. Now we have to give it some margin from the top. So I'm going to say margin top to 30 pixels. Or let's say 40 pixels. Then I'm going to say margin top to 40 pixels. Okay, guys, now finally we have our fully working CK editor. If I'll write anything, I say, hey, we can actually build it. So if I'll build it, see, we can change colors on it. No, we cannot because I had disabled that particular option. I don't want people to change colors because, you know, whatever we are writing out here, that would be going to our newsletter. So there might be some innovative people who want to make it look really ugly. So let it be the way it is. Only give some options like bold, italic and some different styles okay there is a red title and a blue title so you can change some colors from here okay that's all now we will move forward and we will uh, do some stuff with our php we will validate this particular form with php so come back and in newsletter.php file where is that okay here it is on the very top we will we would be writing our PHP and then later we will move it to a different file. One more thing we have to do is we will have to create a form tag out here. So the form method would be post, action would be newsletter.php and we will end it here on the bottom after our submit button. Okay. Now on the very top, I'm gonna say if is set dollar post submit that means if the person is hitting the submit button then only go ahead and run these functions or parameters that I'm gonna pass else don't do anything then I'm gonna say dollar subject to dollar post subject you know like just creating some variables so uh, for subject we have our sender's email and the sender name I'm gonna say dollar s name would be equal to dollar post. Uh, oh my gosh, s name, then dollar s email would be equal to dollar underscore post s email, and the very last we have our content. So dollar content would be equal to dollar post content. Okay, so these are the only four things we need for now. Or you know what, guys? I believe I have some templates option on my actual newsletter. I'm gonna add that option too. So on the very top, after this newsletter thing create the same div that says form elements out here 
Okay. Inside it, I'm gonna first paste the image that I have inside the labels. So this is the particular images I have. If you want, you can save it from my actual newsletter that I have on my side. Or if you have your own custom images, then you can use that as well. So the very first one would be the blue one. So image is slash blue. Okay. Out here, I'm going to create an input type checkbox. So input type checkbox name equal to blue value would be nothing and the same I'm gonna do it for our dark or I would say the black template so here would be dark dot jpg and the name would be equal to dark come back let's see what we got okay it's not looking good is it no So what we need to do is we have to style this. I really hate styling. Excuse me. Okay, man. So this is the one we have. The checkbox is going on to the top that we don't want. So here is a label. Here is the checkbox, but we want it underneath here. So let's see if the break tags can do the trick for us. So break, break. No, they are not doing the trick. Okay. What about taking these labels off? I really don't want to touch CSS, see if we will get it without CSS, otherwise, we will have to give it some custom spots, Charles. Okay, finally we have it guys, you know, you can just chain them and float them onto the left. So right now it is like this. You can change the dev to form elements 1 and form elements 1 and give them, you know, some styling. Like this are to float towards left like this. Also here, they might come in line. Okay, now they're coming because it, it, it's changing this also. So let it be the way it is. And then you can change the styles on it. I'm really not interested in styling it. I just want to show you guys how to do it with PHP. So we have two different forms. One would be the blue and one would be the black one. Okay. On the very top, I'm going to say. Uh, okay what we need then then we need our checkbox i'm gonna say dollar blue would be equal to dollar post blue okay and dollar dark would be equal to dollar post dark okay then i'm gonna say if uh dollar if it's a dollar dark That means if the person is checking this particular dark template, not the blue one, then dollar template would be equal to dollar would be equal to yep dollar dark else our template would be equal to the blue one. Very simple. We are checking which particular checkbox they click. If they click the dark one, then our template is equal to that one. Otherwise, our template is equal to the blue one. Okay? Or we can say else if is it dollar blue to be more specific. Okay, that's done. Then I'm gonna say if empty. First, let me check out the time on my recording. Oh, it's already been 14 minutes, guys. I'm going to pause this particular video and I'll come back to you.